Any news from Jack? There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Of the Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. All units, all units, reports of an explosion. Location, monitor the location in south of Santa Monica. West of, uh, stand by her further. All units, car 88K reports an explosion downtown. Repeating. We have looters around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Get the cops, you little prick. Get that bastard, Cole. Now I get time to be ready for the cops, oh. oh. The commander will want us at the scene. Let's go. Jesus. i never seen nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. Get delayed somewhere? What in God's name happened here? wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. They That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. We Nobody's have ever done this before. Oh. Get better with practice. Maybe it goes for me too, but I'll it for more somber. What do you think, Sam? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor, you came across as, uh, very resolute. Hey, so detective, I think I got something here. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Try putting it back together. to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. Phelps! I think I found something over here. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Any 
ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Tamako Akamado, Japanese name. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. address 133 North Vermont Avenue Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist, and his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. You know, the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service.
You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? You think McLaughlin went up in smoke, or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tomoko Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. The closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. routine, Miss Akamato. Somebody turned the place over. You better watch your step. This is Biggs. Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. Could be a class ring. Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? 
microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was, uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, detective. Sorry. Thank you. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs, you're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes's starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Hey, I don't fight. Come on. Follow me.
Good day, miss. Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomiko Akamoto? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mabes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them for my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is, whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? And her? Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? Uh, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Cullen's process was going to replace all this.
latitude 24 degrees 15 minutes north, longitude 76 degrees 0 minutes west. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north, seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north, seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. around in this state, Paul. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. But this would never go all the way up to Hughes. We would have middlemen dealing with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. I gave his wife a tap. I said, all stay. The women don't find you handsome? Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. 
Well, don't quote me on it, but I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. Think those vice boys get any on the side? Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? Help me with a little experiment. Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Okay, guys, just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil, but you could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes and Akamato Copying the details for Lockheed, where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole in the ground. I'm sorry, sir. Police the officer. Ain't I need God, a car. You know? Can you drive to this one? Stinks of petroleum. 
Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Mips is cleaning up. Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas line, Cole, we're out of here! Shit deal. Come on. He's not getting away from us. It's no good. We need to get closer. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Lay into his wheel well, come on! Security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Don't go to sleep on me. Get in close. Get in close and steer him off the tar. to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. Let's 
Except Stay in cover. I got it. Throw down your gun. On the ground, now! to explain this to me again so the guy at the chemical plant he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant but he blows himself up before he can manage it so why the dead body in the refrigerator mapes captain he was eliminating all competitors for the process when it went bang he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between hughes and the plant mapes right I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps, but between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you, too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger, and it's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, Doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I 
have seen you with Munro at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <sighs> I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven in the next life.